Is it possible to start a business in your 70s? Well, we're going to find out today thanks to my guest, Ruth Romero, coming to us all the way from Idaho in the United States. Ruth, thank you so much for being on the show today. My pleasure, Chrissia. So It's wonderful being here. And this is in, yes? No, no, go right ahead. I, I just this realized a bit of, there's a bit of a delay, so I'll take that into I'm consideration. Sorry? There's a bit of a delay between the two of us, so I'll take that into consideration. Oh, okay. So your question was? I, I'm going to start uh, asking my first question now. So um, before I get started, I'm just going to explain to the audience uh, sort of how we know each other. And basically, it's through your son, who I interviewed not long ago, the Sound Vibrational therapist, also known as Mark Romero, and after the interview, he said, oh my gosh, you have to interview my mom, she's this really phenomenal woman, full of energy, full of zest, full of light, and when we had our chat, it was exactly what I realized, you're full of energy, you're full of life, you're full of zest, you're fearless, and when I found out that you had started this new business of yours in your 70s, I thought, oh my gosh, so... What prompted you to start a business in your 70s? How do you even get started in your 70s? And shouldn't you be sitting around?